Meanwhile, local Muslim outreach groups are recommending people contact their immigration attorneys before heading out of the country. News 13's Bailey Myers joins us now from our newsroom. And Bailey, you met with a spokesperson for the Council on American Islamic Relations, and she told you they're concerned. They are, and that's because they're worried this move by the Supreme Court could condone the addition of other countries to the travel ban list. Countries they believe are focused on preventing Muslims from traveling to and from the United States. I believe it's opening the door to legal chaos. As a Muslim and a spokesperson for the Council on American Islamic Relations or CARE, Rasha Mubarak says the Supreme Court's decision on the travel ban is concerning for all Muslims because the countries banned are majority Muslim countries. This rhetoric is what's dangerous, the hazardous, that's what makes it so hazardous is the climate that it's creating, not just within the Muslim community, within the immigrant, immigrant community. Although it's still unclear how many people will be impacted once the travel ban is back in effect, Mubarak says CARE and the immigration attorneys, like her brother, are bracing themselves. I definitely think there's going to be a little bit of a chaotic time or an adjustment period for the ICE agents, for the attorneys, for our clients to kind of learn the procedures, what's necessary to uh, expect and, and to provide in order to enter the United States. Now, both Mubarak say they're just telling people not to be scared, but prepared. We're asking everyone to not to despair and to be cautious, but really to consider with immigration attorneys. Now, once again, the so-called ban, which bars people from Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen from entering the U.S. for 90 days only applies to those outside of a, quote, bona fide relationship exemption. Mubarak says most of the clients he works with have family ties or business ties to the United States and would still be allowed to travel. In the newsroom, Bailey Myers.